it's a uh, three quarter inch cabinet grade plywood. I stacked three on top of each other, glued with a PVA glue. Um, I used these super struts to kind of attach it to the wall but allow it to be able to go up and down. And then I used a motorcycle by a motorcycle lift. It's actually inverted upside down. <sighs> Just a screw that will come in, and that's a little connection there that you can use. We use a drill, like a like a hammer dr impact hammer, cordless ha hammer drill, but a cordless drill would work. And then the screw just turns, and that does have. Um, I don't know. Anyways, and so we did a nice tongue oil on it. We did round over. We used the uh, router to do a nice half round circle to it. The back we just left flat so that we could attach it to the wall. And it, it, it is pretty sturdy. It'd be nice if it was rock sturdy. Up against the wall it is. Up here in front, not so much. You might need to get like a little, I don't know, 30 pound sandbag or a weight or something like that. But that's how we did it. Part of it was from Shrames Boxing and a few of the others. I'm not going to give details simply because if you're a DIY guy, you you know what to do. It. The super struts are in the electrical conduit section. And the pivot is Outslayer Professional Pivot. It's a heavy duty pivot. There's at least three um, bearings in it, one on each side of the D bolt. One up there in the center to spin it around. The bag is a middle size uh, Tidal leather bag. It's really a pretty nice bag. Definitely go with the better grade bags because and this thing will take a punch. Tongue oil that we can eventually put like a leather oil around it as and uh, as we continue to treat the leather on the bag, then to you know they should be compatible for the. Oil. 